Previously on Prometheus. CJ. Tiki. Sam. Mara. Zach. David. Joe. Anna. Caitlin. And Colin have all been sacrificed from the game. As for the rest of you, congratulations on being the final four. Now we will be closing one of the breakout rooms, so the only room left will be the shelter. And I will call you guys back shortly for the temple. I'm so glad Colin survived. Why Caitlin? I do not understand why Lauren, as we've been saying from the beginning, that girl has like nine lives. I think she's 90 at this rate. I guess we'll find out in a second. I'm just so glad Colin isn't here. Me too. I'm fully aboard Team Colin now. He, he felt like someone who did pride himself on his loyalty when he did like if he was in a position where he didn't have to sacrifice that okay now I'm finally supposed to hey. <laughs> hi how uh, is it what <laughs> happened <laughs> oh oh um okay so I actually had a plan to turn on my alliance uh not this round but the next but that plan would have heavily involved keeping Colin and I would I got put into a room with my alliance of Caro and uh Lauren immediately which was great so we could start to try to kind of talk it out but they wanted to target Colin immediately and I I'm definitely uh, not the type that just wants to go along with what I'm told yeah. a lot. Um, like, I'll do it in the beginning for a little bit to stay with majority, but I mean, it's definitely the time to try to make moves. I hop over to a call with Andrew and Kyle, and we start talking about the possibility of taking out Lauren. And I think Andrew really was with it. Um, And I messaged Colin even, and I was like, oh, and then Lauren comes over. Lauren's like, immediately could tell, I think. Not could tell that we were talking about her, but I think Kyle hopped over to the other call and told them that we were talking Lauren. And so I think that's when Lauren hopped over and we immediately switched the conversation to being about Colin. And so I messaged Colin and I was like, hey, if you wanna make a move, it's not me. I'm not the big move here. And he was like, I wanna make a move, Lauren. And I was like, yeah. David may appear soon. Yeah, he like um, wasn't at Temple and didn't come back in here, so we don't know where he went. But no. she's gone to AWOL. <laughs> He's just like in and out. He's been yeah. in and out of this game since it started. <laughs> went to get a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, H- how? How, he... <laughs> how are you juggling this? How he made it out of that, we were dumbfounded. <laughs> Yeah. He and Lauren uh, just... were like, she lives to see another day. This is insane. Why did, um, if I may ask, why was I targeted? 
Um, for me, personally, it was the Lauren thing. And I was not like, at that point, I thought I was going to stay loyal to Lauren and Caro. So like when you told me that Lauren thought I wrote Caro's name down, Mm -hmm. I kind of just thought that you were probably just trying to like put a wedge in between us or she she did say that to me she really did which, yeah and it was actually David who voted for Carolina interesting I actually voted for Colin oh you were the Colin, you okay. were the Colin. I was wow. like vouching for you I was like no Caitlin definitely <laughs> voted David <laughs> lol I, I, I knew it was <laughs> so Carolina voted David and then Long voted Andrew is that what happened do you think so that's to what I'm no, leading Laura. to. Then yeah, I don't know who voted Andrew if David didn't. I knew it. No, no other votes were going to call in. I was just trying to stir shit up. <laughs> and apparently that's me. <laughs> I was so annoyed. I was like, I didn't lie. She said that. She said that. Final four. <laughs> My God. Um, so where do we go from here? Well, I feel like Kyle will bring me to the end if he wins. I keep now I'm paranoid that I'm on, not immune. Uh, I hope that Lauren would, but I get that that Lauren Carolina thing is scaring me. Final hey guys, final four already. <laughs> Oh God, that's all wild. It is. It is. Game. Final four. Well, yeah. Thanks for not voting me out, everybody. So, uh, two things here. Did he say the next person that wins the flame won't you won't know, or it would be like I, I don't know. Maybe oh, I thought was... he was. I thought he was saying we don't know who's going to win it. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. I didn't oh, know. okay. That was my yeah, misunderstanding I then. I thought it was like, <sighs> the next person who wins immunity will be like, you won't know who it was. I don't know. Oh, I think that'd, that'd, be, yeah. that'd be a pretty cool twist. Yeah. <laughs> that that would actually be would be really cool. I'm just so happy that every single vill in this game, I've been on the right side of, and I've gotten every person out um, that I wanted out. And, um, yeah, so I'm sitting here with the final four with Kyle and Andrew, and Lauren, um, you know, people who I, you know, worked with throughout at different levels, um, but who I also genuinely like and have interacted with and trust. Um, I still have the final two deal with Lauren and Kyle. For me personally, Andrew is the easy, you know, one, but easy isn't strategic um okay so we're going straight to temple again to vote one of us out i I think we have a challenge we have a chat yeah we would have a challenge oh never mind (laughs) well if we can't message right now then it's definitely not a vote right away yeah yeah okay but i just ideally would hope it's not Andrew because he's like a challenge beast and he needs to like spare some for us let me win because I haven't won anything and like everyone else here Lauren Andrew Kyle have all won immunity I haven't done anything I haven't won I'm just chugging along trying to work my way in socially when I need to um which speaks to my social game but still I'm in final four and I'm thinking um, I might need to change my plan up a little bit, which I said I would do if I got to four, or, or I would reevaluate, and I'm reevaluating. Um, I'm thinking about, because I wanted originally to go to the end with Lauren, but I think if I'm there with Lauren, I'm fighting for some votes that really should be a lot for me, like Caro and um, probably Cousart. No, well, Cousart shouldn't be a lot for me. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> But I, I, I don't know. I think I'm going to have an easier time, actually, um, against Caro. Just because I think she... And I said this in my prod chat. 
but I, I think Caro mismanaged some of the same people that I did. I think, namely, I mismanaged Kusart and Anna, um, hardcore. Joe a little bit, um, and Caitlin, but I don't think I have a shot at Caitlin's vote. So, if I go to the end with Caro, I think that I have more history with Anna and Kusart and Joe than she does. And I think I can leverage that to steal those votes away from her. Who would have ever thought I would have gotten myself here, but here we are indeed. I got what I wanted on the last vote. I was leaning towards Kyle a little bit, but if it comes down to this, maybe I might end up sitting with him at the end if it goes that way. And that would be okay. I think I can beat him, but I also think I've played a strong enough game where if I sit next to anyone, I can beat. I can beat them all. That's how confident I feel because I know I've played a fabulous game. The only thing now is I'm a little worried what this challenge could be because we were in that room just the four of us for a very, very long time. Yeah. Yeah. This is for sure, this is my last game I'll ever be playing, so. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my gosh, why? I came out of retirement for this one. Aww. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is my last, look, hosting is, that's my style. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, th that's what I said though, but this has been the most fun one I've ever done. Yeah. And not even because I made it this far, it's because of the people. <sighs> I'm thinking I might try and target Lauren here. Um, a lot of it depends on what happens in immunity, obviously. Um, but I, I don't know, I feel like I have a good shot at this. I really need to start thinking of my case if I get to the end, but also not losing sight of what's right in front of me so that I actually can get to the end. And I feel like I do have a good shot to win it, but I also don't think I'm a lock, so I gotta stay vigilant and stay on my game. Let's do. I do not know how long Robin is still in this, but... At this point, I think props to her. she's possibly going the whole way. Like, same with Kyle. And that's so yeah. funny that they were voted, like, the not most likely to win, but, like, besides yourself, who would you want to win thing? And it was Lauren and Kyle. And I was like... Uh, I really don't... I mean, I guess I'll get to ask him, but... I really don't understand why... Colin would want to take me out first over Lauren. Mm. Because if I was turning on Lauren and well, hello. Hi, Hi. Colin. It's me. <laughs> it, it shouldn't be. Um, it shouldn't be. It's okay. Honestly, I this is my new personal best. I got a little farther than I thought I was going to do. At the end, I was fucked. Uh, there was nothing. I, I knew. I was like, okay. So I was. I was on the. Since honestly, the since you got out, Joe, I was pretty much on the outs, except for you, Anna. And I'm really sorry, but I was like, <laughs> I was like, I to get back into the good graces of these people, I had to do it, but it didn't work. So <laughs> yeah. So I was. I, I was fucked. Re I thought you voted me out though when I went. I, I did I not. Just, I was on. I know. I thought wow. Kyle stuck with me, but apparently not. I would... I'm glad you didn't flip on me, though. I did not flip, so, no. I flipped on Anna. Thank you for that. You can say that. So she could be mad. You could be mad. And I'm sorry. Well, it's okay. I guess, did you flip, like, you knew before we went into Temple, but because you were like, yeah, I'll vote Kyle, and then you wrote my name down. Or was it after kind of, like, the questions about, oh, Final Two and Anna and Lauren was like, yeah, you're playing a good game that you were like, Anna. It was kind of at the very, very end, right before Temple, where okay. I kind of made the realization where I was like, okay, like they were like, they're like, can we trust you? And I was like, I don't know, can you? But then I was like, fuck, no, I can't just like be this rebel. So then I was like, sure, I'll do it. And so you'll see my confessional. It's very heartfelt and sorry. <laughs> okay. But just how you were like, um, you had stated, oh, well, if it's me, like, please tell me. I would have liked you to be like, I can't vote Kyle, it's you. And I would have, I had, I, and I was aware, like I knew I was in danger and I was yeah. bait, but I was like, so. 
did he lie or was he still uh, it, okay it was like not a lie but not also the truth it was like you know one of those like i didn't say anything but i also didn't say you know so that was my right. bad i'm sorry yeah. um, it's okay but hey i didn't win so <laughs> i'm here with you so it didn't work <laughs> well colin i um i want you to know that when i messaged you i genuinely was ready to like I I voted okay. Lauren when you went home. I did not vote you. Just so you know, I voted Lauren as well. Really? So you vote ringleader. Yeah, I wrote, I wrote the ringleader, Lauren. You really did? Mm -hmm. I can. I oh mean, my I'm gosh! Wrong, I, I thought can, that was Andrew. No, I can. I mean, I don't know if we're allowed, but I can show you. It's on my phone. I I did that. Yeah. No, I believe you. I yeah. believe. I voted Lauren and I, I, I owned up to it. And Lauren confronted me. She's like, did you put me down? And I said, absolutely. <laughs> and I think that's what, because to me, Lauren is going to win this shit. So I was like, get her out yeah. of here. Yeah. And no one seems to listen. Like no one was listening to me. And I was like, so. Um, I wanted her out first, but it just merged. <laughs> and somehow she just gets by yeah. every We're single round. It, by the way. Oh, nice. Just left. Oh, you said where's David? Was... Yeah. yeah. So, and then this past round, it was one of those things where Kyle was like, I'm not hearing any names. And then everyone else was like, we're not hearing any names from Kyle. So let's vote Kyle. And I was like, we literally last round talked about how much we want to take Kyle to the end because he's the GOAT. So I was like, we're not voting. Like, so the fact that they were like, let's vote Kyle. I was like, it's me. Okay. I was like, I'm not stupid. But yeah. I was like, at that point, I was just kind of like, I, I it, my fate was sealed. There was nothing I could do um, because Kyle, I don't think in my experience, Kyle has ever brought the name up first. He's always done what everyone else wants to do. So right. in my opinion, at the end, we're going to be like, what did you actually do? Who did you actually gun for? So he's probably going to bring up Joe at that point. Maybe. Because yeah. he's the one that he flipped on, well, in Andrew. But because but was he the one that started the Joe flip or was that Lauren? All right, so congratulations on making it to the final four. This is the last time you will be at the temple before the Ascension ceremony. At the final four, you will not be voting someone out. You will be competing in a challenge to earn your spot to argue to the jury to the final three. We do have the jury watching you guys right now. Welcome to your final challenge. It is called the Rites of Passage. So I've already said by the end of the cycle, you will not be voting someone out to be sacrificed, but you will be competing in the Rites of Passage to earn your spot in the final three, giving you the chance to make your argument to the jury on why you should ascend and become the first Promethean. Here's how it'll work. You will each be separated in your own individual breakout room. While you're there, you will then be given a link to a document in which you will place the names in the correct sacrificed order from first sacrifice to the most recent, then with your own names being in the final four box. From there, you will move on to complete a slide puzzle of this season's logo. First three to complete this task will move on, and the last person will become the final juror and final sacrifice of the game. Do we have any questions? Then let's get started. Prometheans ready in three, two, one, go. Where would that... Wow, I don't see the names. What the heck? I cannot believe this is happening. Joe. Based 
Sleeky. Do I need to do anything else? The final four, just put it... Okay, I'm just gonna put it right here next to this. Andrew. God, I spelled her name wrong. <laughs> Dumb piece of shit. Oh, man. I just went in a circle. Done. I need to get that there. And how do we do that? This uh, this close. It's close to the end of the game, and I have to get on this. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. All right, done. this entire thing up again. Just had to be a fucking side puzzle, slide puzzle. I cannot believe this is happening. I'm sorry, Andrew, but the challenge time is up. If you could please return to the temple. Okay, guys, so the rites of passage are now over. The results of the challenge. In first, we have Kyle. Congratulations, Kyle, on making it to the final three. In second place, we have Lauren. Lauren, congratulations on also securing your spot in the final three. And our final member, in third place, we have Caro. Congratulations, Caro. Unfortunately, Andrew, you have placed last, and you are the final juror and the final sacrifice from the game. Do you have any final thoughts? None at all. On that note, Andrew, please be on standby. As for the rest of you, start preparing your final speeches for the Ascension Ceremony. Congratulations, guys. It had to be a puzzle. Um, the one thing that I'm just, just not good at, uh, I'm good at word puzzles and 
all that jazz, but um, it's my own fault. Yeah, I, I said it enough during the challenge. I brought it on myself and I have to deal with it. Um, thank you for casting me. It's been uh, a lot of fun. Uh, and you know, I'm, once I calm down a little bit, <laughs> I'll be very anxious to see how uh, final goes. But uh, it's been a lot of fun and I really think every everyone that's here it's been great congratulations you guys congrats y'all dang i thought i was gonna be out sheesh you're you're muted carolina Oh, I said, I thought so too. I was like, oh my God, because I took so long to do it. So I took forever on the puzzle. The The boot order was quick for me. That was so the same. Awesome. Well, I mean, the boot, boot order was quick. The puzzle, oh my God, I think I did that for six or seven minutes. I love a good slide puzzle. I can't do puzzles. Wow. Congrats. Y'all played awesome. great games. Congratulations. Is, dude, I, I don't know who the fuck's about to take this real talk. <laughs> Final three. I changed. I got uh, dressed up. I did my hair. Um, I got uh, I got blue, orange, and black in honor of Prometheus and all the tribes. I'm I'm looking forward to this. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I think I. I think there's a couple of votes that I have locked. I think David and Andrew are going to vote for me. I know that Andrew said on our pre-merge tribe that he always asks the same question on the jury, and that's to name a fun fact about somebody on the jury. And I have one for everybody except Caitlin. I have a fact about Caitlin, but it's not super fun. From what I know of him, I think he's kind of a loyal dude. He didn't ever let me know that my name was out there, but that could have been because he was afraid of uh, me, like making me feel like he was conspiring against me or something of that nature. So. He's a good dude, so maybe he'll want to vote for his final two in the end. Um, and the fact that me and Andrew, Andrew and I, were the catalyst for the Joe vote at eight. And without that, I, well, Lauren absolutely doesn't make it because she gets voted out there. And Joe did want to flip the next round, but I would have then again been the catalyst for that. And if I decided, no, I want to vote out Caro, that's what would have happened at seven. It's not going to be easy, but I think I can take it. This is, this is good. It's been a fun game. Thanks very much. I'm going to be open, honest, own my game, see what I can do. I think that I played the best game here. I worked my ass off to get where I am. I am sitting next to two worthy competitors and I know they're gonna bring it as well, but I need to out talk them and be able to communicate to the jury why my game is a winning game, why I deserve to be the winner of season one. And I'm going to do my absolute best to do that. This is my last game that I will be playing in. I am retired officially after this one. It's been a blast. Thank you so much to production and whatever happens, all good for me. This is the first time I'm sitting in the end and it's going to be the last. And I am just excited and shocked. Um, and you know, I am glad that I'm here with Lauren. I'm glad that I'm here with Lauren and I'm glad that I'm here with Kyle, the two people that I set up my final two deals with. And I didn't have to like, you know, pick one of them or whatever. And it was just fair win to get into the final three by each of us. Um, I think we all have different stories and I'm just excited to, you know, share that journey with the jury. I think my biggest downfall is going to be differentiating myself as a player from Lauren. If there was that perception, I was writing her coattails because I wanna make sure that they see me as a unique single player that made decisions for themselves, not for anyone else. And um, don't you know, put me in a bucket as a follower of anyone else. I was very good socially and I worked hard to get here socially even though I didn't have the challenge wits to do it. So, and you know, at this point, it's literally made the best person win because we're all great players. So a final three of Carolina, Kyle and Lauren. 
I'm gonna say I'm surprised, because I am. I did not expect that to be the group. Although I didn't connect with her the best, it would be naive of me to not acknowledge how good of a game Lauren has played. She has somehow made it this far, and I've been saying this the entire time, I don't know how she survived, how is she still here? She is slippy. I'm interested to see what Kyle is gonna say about his game. I was tight with Kyle, on my end at least, and him flipping on me confused me. Um, Carolina has played a good game, but I also don't think she's been that in control or has been the one dictating where the votes go. I feel it has been Lauren and Andrew this entire game and Andrew's not there. It's time for the Ascension Ceremony. I can't believe the final three is Kyle, Lauren and Carolina. I was not expecting that going into, you know, the merge with a 5-4 number, but whatever. I definitely counted Kyle out and I guess I shouldn't have. And I was gunning for Lauren the entire time. I did want to make a alliance with Carolina, but that did not come to fruition. So where my vote is going to land is kind of still up in the air. But with this final vote, I wish obviously there was different people there. So I'm looking forward to their answers because that could sway me. I am not decided. I am very much open and willing to listen to what they have to say. And I'm excited to see who's going to become the first Promethean. So what I want to hear from the final three um, obviously, just like any jury member, I want them to own everything that they did. However, I'm really only seeing one person right now who's really done anything. That is Lauren. And I also kind of just want to know um, their perspective on the jurors and about their social game because social was such a huge part of this game because there were no idols or advantages. You really had to rely on surviving by your connections. The jury um, is not bitter, which is great. Um, we're definitely more looking towards social game and big moves and trying to figure out who did what. Um, and I definitely think that being on the jury, there was a lot of perception that was incorrect. Um, Joe thinking I got him out. Um, Anna, well, Anna, but that was correct. Caitlin thinking I didn't vote with her, which I did. So. I think having us kind of really share stories, especially when Andrew came in to really share all of his stories and kind of clarify things up, I think we kind of are leaning towards a certain way with that. Um, but again, jury management is everything and we are asking some tough cookie questions. And for anyone that's ever seen Moneyball, um, there's a little blurb at the end um, talking about how Billy Bean is still trying to win the last game of the season. And that's how I feel every time that I lose in an org. And especially in this one, coming as close as you can get uh, and, you know, not pulling it out, uh, I'm still looking for uh, my last win of the season, uh, or yeah, that final win. Um, it just had to be a puzzle. It just had to be a puzzle. Um... <laughs> the jury seems like they're doing all right. Um, it doesn't seem like anyone is too bitter. Um, it was nice to hear that they thought that I was doing things in the game. It's, that was really nice. Um, oh, and I was going to do this if I ever got voted out, but I never did. So I have my little mini of uh, Goldschlager. So cheers to you guys. And yeah, whatever I decide to sign on my last one. Bye.
All right. Welcome to the Ascension Ceremony, guys. Thank you so much for your time in the game. And congratulations on making it this far. I know for some of you guys, that challenge was not the easiest challenge, but you've all made it here. So this is obviously the time where you argue why you should be the first Promethean, okay? Here is how the Ascension Ceremony will work. For opening statements, you will be given three minutes to say your case. The jury, after the opening statements, will then get seven minutes to address you guys. In the end, they will then be given, or I'm sorry, not they, but you will then be given five minutes on your closing arguments, okay? Uh, we will be keeping everyone on strict timers, though. So when your time is up, your time is up. We will mute you and move on. So starting off, Kyle, you, since you were the winner, you get to choose the speaking order for the opening statements. Whatever the order is, it will be the reverse of that for closing statements. All right. So I'm sure this is a tough decision for all of you because like, I, I think any combination of three from like the group that's on this call right now would be a tough decision because this has been like an insane season with insanely good gameplay. And what's so crazy about it is that there were no idols, no advantages. And this was the hardest game I've ever played. And at the same time, like it should have been the easiest because I didn't have to worry about like split votes and pluralities and shit like that. But everyone was so good that I have like friggin this is so difficult, dude. And <laughs> I got like five hours of sleep. I'm dying and all of you are helping to kill me. So thanks for that. Um, I had a frickin journey in this game because I I played like longer term boards for the most part. I, I've never played a weekend game like this. I played a couple like one night minis and I did terrible at them because my game is primarily based on like building social bonds. So for the first like four days of a game, normally I don't even talk game with people. I just get to know them. And by the time that I start to build my strategic relationships and building them on the back of something very real. So that's always how I've played and it's always worked out pretty well for me. And I couldn't do that here just because of the time constraint. So I just had to kind of go in and, and get strategic. And I was very fortunate that we won a bunch of challenges in a row in the pre-merge so at least with the primordial tribe i was able to get to know a lot of people personally and i'm super grateful for that um something i noticed early on in the game we went to tribal twice as the primordial tribe and i was the decoy vote both times that cj threw a vote on me and mara threw a vote on me and no one ever told me that was going to happen i saw my name come up at those tribals and i was like well fuck, i'm done because someone would have told me and nobody did so it was very strange for me because i knew that like, someone had to know i was getting votes no one ever owned up to it and i get that because you get to play a game but like i knew that someone had to be lying to me about not knowing that my name had come up and so because i didn't know who it was i had to assume that it was everybody so i just became disloyal and i played this game straight up i played it disloyal and i promised people my loyalty and i was just straight up lying i had final two deals with andrew and caro and david and at the merge, I know some people are curious about where I, my vote went. I actually voted for Andrew. So the Caro vote, I believe, was David. Uh, I think the Colin vote was Caitlin. I might have that wrong. But my vote was for Andrew, and no one ever suspected that. And I was able to create a lot of paranoia and confusion around me, and that was great. Because as long as people were looking somewhere else, they weren't looking at me, and I could survive. I made up lies about who was working with who and told them to people just so that those people would be like, well, shit, I got to look over there. And while they're looking over there, they're not looking at me. I played this game strategically and I would have honestly, I would have liked to play it a little bit more socially. There are a few uh, people who I feel like I could have gotten to know better and I regret that and I would love to afterwards. But um, I hope that you can see the merit in my game. I believe that my game has been very influential. I think my fingerprints are all over this season and I feel like I would be a great representative for this. Thank you. All right. <laughs> all right, hey everyone. Um, so this game has been wild as we all know it and have felt it. I do want to take this time just to elaborate on my personal journey. So in this game, um, I did come in like really quick and 
wanting to be like that social person where people felt like they could confide in me and trust me at least for that round. And I feel like I successfully did that, you know, shifting through every round moving forward. I did partner up day one with Lauren, establishing her as final two, ride or die. Um, I also did establish additional alliances and relationships to get me through each round. Um, but I do think, you know, my game has been very heavy on social strategy and relationships. And I wouldn't be here without that because I'm not, you know, a challenge winner. Um, the only challenge I won was that first challenge as a captain. And then I never won again. So I feel like I played my game socially and also sort of in the middle, shifting when I needed to, to survive to the next round, but managing to never be like the direct target for that round um, at the temple to get voted out. I did all the time try to keep my um, cards close to me, never uh, disclose the relationships and the extents of how close I was with some players and straight up lying and saying, I, you know, um, would vote some people out when I knew that, you know, if I heard this person was gunning for that, um, you know, I would be loyal to that person I had those alliances with. And, um, you know, I would target them. Um, so not once was I on the wrong side of the votes in this game. Um, and I do believe like that social versatility um, as part of my strategy helped me in this game. Um, and although like the three of us here are different players, um, I will say that, you know, for me personally, um, yes, did I have a partnership with a lot of people to get the votes, you know, to go my way and to not be um, the target? Yes, but I was not a follower. Um, you know, I ultimately it was my decision openly stating who I wanted gone or who I didn't particularly trust, um, you know, in that moment. And I do think that those close relationships, for instance, establishing that with Kyle, pulling him in to feel comfortable working with me, knowing that I also, you know, had really close relationships with Lauren and Caitlin um, and be able to pull through for the round to make those moves. Um, I think that is what helped me, you know, uh, flourish and get through each round. Um, and um, so, yeah, that's I guess, a little bit about my game. My strategy was a lot of social, a lot of like information and trying to gauge where the relationships are, keeping my cards close to me. Um, but I will say for the members of the jury, um, I know that I took part in voting you out um, and possibly targeting you. So I will openly and honestly answer your questions and own up to the reasons uh, why, you know, I felt like I had to vote you out. Hey, what's going on guys? I just want to say it was a pleasure to play with each and every one of you. This is the hardest gameplay I've ever seen. It's an honor for me to be able to sit here in the final three. And I want to pitch to you why I think I deserve to win this game. And part of it is I think I played socially really well. If I knew somebody was going to come after me and target me, I in, then in turn made sure that person was going home. I was loyal throughout the game until those people were no longer loyal to me and I was therefore able to convince people to stick by my side and get those other people out instead of following those people to then eliminate me from the game. I was very heavily targeted in the merge. I could have gone home on a lot of votes. I only had one immunity win to save myself, but I was vulnerable on each and every one of the votes. I knew my name was being dropped numerous times. And then for instance, on the Caitlyn vote, Caitlyn is a very strong player. She could have swung Carolina to go with her, but because of my bond that I created with Carolina, she stuck by my side, kept me in this game. And I think that is just a testament to me being able to have those social skills. When I knew that Anna was throwing my name out there. I made sure that she was the one going home. Same with Joe. The people that wrote my name down, those are the ones that I made sure were out of this game. I think that I created bonds with each and every one of you in a different way. But at the same time, I wasn't about to be fake. If I knew that you were not intending to work with me, I didn't plan to just like, like blow smoke. Joe, like we never intended to work with each other. I didn't come to you and say, let's do this and that. I'm not going to be fake about that because I knew we were never on the same side. Same with you, Anna. I tried at the beginning, but I could tell that you really didn't necessarily want to work with me. And that's fine because you, you have to work with people that are loyal to you specifically. So I think I adapted my game style through
throughout the entire course of the game and made sure the people I needed on my side kept me safe, but also me keeping them safe as well, because you can't get here alone. You have to get here with other people, but it's ultimately the people you choose to decide to come to the end with and be able to sit here and pitch why you played a better game than the two people that are then sitting next to you. And I think I played the strongest game this season. I am ready for your questions. I'm gonna be open and honest because you wanna gather information about each of our game styles up here. And I will say both of them played strong games as well. I just think I played the strongest one here. So um, first of all, congrats to the three of you for making it here. Um, your speeches were all actually very insightful. And I do want to say myself and a lot of the jury have our votes open. We aren't set on voting, so your answers do matter. So um, I have a question for all three of you. I want you to say something negative about at least two of the players here. It could be one of your fellow finalists or one of the six jurors. So, um, Carolina will stop you. Okay. And it could be a juror or like Lauren or Kyle, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, let me think about this for just one moment. Okay. I guess my first person to uh, say something, some constructive, negative, potential criticism <laughs> would be um, to Anna. So you are honestly. I feel like socially you are so good. Um, you, you know, from what I learned, we're able to, um, even as a newbie, just establish a lot of love and trust. Um, but I feel like your downfall was um, potentially putting all your cards in um, one set of people and not being, I didn't feel like you were open. So um, I don't, I didn't see you as an open player um, and, you know, that would just be my constructive criticism of you based on my short-lived experience is that um, you um, didn't seem open to creating relationships. Um, I don't know if you actually were, but you didn't come off that way, so. And uh, the next person that I can uh, speak negatively about, oh, this is hard. Um, I will say this to Caitlin because Caitlin, uh, you know, I think you were truthfully um, loyal to um, myself, particularly. I don't know how you felt about Lauren, but for myself, but um, I think my, you know, negative experiences with you is you knew we had a deal and um, you lost my trust when I found out that it was, you know, like, things you were brought bring up Lauren and we were a final three deal and you know didn't come to me one-on-one -on -one with that um if you truly felt like you could trust me so I think um you know being a little bit more transparent okay uh thank you I'll go to Kyle next let okay. me just interrupt for one quick second. So during Joe's seven minutes, Joe, if you need to, you can rush anyone along, okay? Okay, cool. Cool. Don't you dare rush me along, Joe. No, I'm kidding. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say two negative things. I'm just going to make them about uh, the other two finalists, and um, I'm going to keep them uh, gameplay related because I don't want to go personal. Um, and I think that it's actually the same thing for both of them. And I think it's that they don't realize how close they were to going home uh, based on my decision. At final eight, um, my, like I, Andrew and I flipped at final eight to vote you out, Joe. And mm -hmm. at that point you were pitching to me that you wanted to flip at seven. So I was seriously considering like not making that move and just going to vote out Lauren and keep the status quo and then make that flip with you at seven. And if we did make that flip at seven, it probably would have been on Carol. So I, these two could have been taken out back to back. And I think they're just now learning that. And I think that because of that, they may be giving themselves a little more credit than um, they may be deserving of. And they do deserve credit, but uh, I'm just trying to just trying to give a little shit here. It's all, in, it's all game play. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna go back at Kyle real quick for this. Kyle, I'm gonna be completely honest. In my opening statement, I realized that I was going home multiple times and I flipped the script to do that. So 
what you have perceived is incorrect. And so I think maybe that's something you could work on because I fully already admitted that I knew I was a target in this game and that I was potentially going home multiple times and on multiple occasions. So I think what you just said is incorrect because I already admitted it myself. Now, for the next person that I'm going to pick and choose at a little bit, I'm gonna say, Andrew, I wanna say for you, I think sometimes you're too loyal to a fault. And I think what was gonna happen is, I wanna be truthfully honest with you, if there was a vote, I was gonna put your name down and I know you fully trusted me that I was gonna be by your side, but I wanna come clean and honest with you. I think sometimes you put your loyalty too much into people. And so that's something I would like for you to know. Okay. Um, I will allow the response. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm. I'm not talking in general. I'm just talking specifically at the final eight. I think um, Andrew and I made the decision to boot Joe over you. And I think if Andrew and I had made a different decision, you would have gone because there were three votes on you. And if Andrew and I had flipped to vote you out, then you would have gone. And so I'm just saying stri strictly at the final eight, I think that I had the power there and Andrew and I had the power there and we made the, that decision. Just Potentially, but I also had a relationship with Andrew where I knew that I was able to pull him in. He was going to be on my side. So it's not just your decision at final eight, you can have a tie tie vote. So it's, true. it's ultimately not just, there's a partnership I'm sure, but then if you have a tie tie vote, some people, hey, you don't want to go to rocks and they then Laura, get scared and want to flip. If, so, If I may, do you think that um, your and Andrew's pre-existing relationship holds any stock in that? And if you didn't have that relationship, or say Andrew didn't make merge, and Andrew was instead replaced with Mara, for example, how would that have been different? So for me personally, I reached out to each and every one of you from your tribe and tried to create relationships and talk to as many people as I possibly can. Some of you chose to respond to me, some of you didn't, some of you decided to have a conversation. If you guys have gotten to know Andrew, he is social. If you reach out to him, try and talk to him, you can corral him for loyalty. That's the player he is. If you come straight up and say, hey, you can trust me and you give him a reason to trust you, he will come to your side. So I think I could have done that because that's the player that he is. Just because we had a pre-existing relationship doesn't mean anything. And the fact of the matter is no one knew about that except I think Colin until sitting here now and the fact that I was able to hide that and actually create social bonds with other people within the game that would have gotten me to the end where I wouldn't have needed Andrew necessarily, I was confident that I would have been able to do that. Okay, all right, thank you. Um, best of luck to the three of you. And thank you for your responses. Okay, hi all, congratulations. Um, so I have a lot of things, so I'm gonna be as try as to be as quick as possible and I would appreciate um, quickness from you as well. Um, Kyle, in your opening statements, you said that you made up lies to deflect and um, things to get the attention off yourself. Can you name at least two of those lies? Sure, um, one was that you, Kuzart and Andrew had a alliance of three and that you were the core of our tribe. I told that to Joe in the pre-merge to try and like build a relationship with Joe and that wasn't true. And then I also told it to Caro um, after the merge just to try and like get the target off myself around final seven just because I knew that my name was out there. And then um, hmm, another lie. Let me think of the lie. Hold on. I'm blanking because I'm really nervous. So. <laughs> Um, well, I think another lie is that um, I told Andrew that he was my only final two. I told Carol that she was my only final two. And I, I never told anybody. I mean, at the time that I had a final two with David, he was okay. my only final two, but I never told him about that. that. Yeah, so I also lied about that. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Lauren. Well, okay. Lauren, um, I don't know why. Truly never received any messages from you on my message requests, whatever. Um, so I know we did not make any bonds um, and you said you, you approached me. I truly do not have them in my Facebook messenger. Um, and I'm not saying that that's your fault. I'm just like, I was open to working with you. And when we merged and I was in the room with you and David, um, both of you very aggressively, are you staying in the type five? What do you want to do? Or not, what do I want to do? But you were like, what are you? that you wanted a name and I was not ready to turn on my alliance, like my original tribe. Um, 
And so I opened that back to you. I flipped it and I said, well, if you were in my position, like if you had the numbers, who would you want to go from my tribe? And you wouldn't give me a name. So I was open to flipping. I was open to it. I just didn't get it from you. And then Colin jumped in and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to leave because y'all made me uncomfortable. Um, I just wasn't going to throw out my OG tribe mates first. So uh, my question for you is why don't you deserve to win this game? So why don't I deserve this, to win this game? Um, I do want to say just regarding the messages real quick, I want to be able to show you at the end of the screenshot where I did send it. So if it didn't come through, I do apologize for that. That's fine. And I'm like, I'll show you mine. As well yeah. So I do want to apologize for that. That just, it's not sometimes technology sucks. We know that. Right. Um, the reason why I don't deserve this to win this game is some people don't like my style of gameplay. I'm a vocal player. I'm aggressive when I have to be. And that doesn't necessarily go well with the jury at times. Some people don't like aggressive players because it overwhelms them or they feel intimidated by that. And if I intimidate people, I am sorry about that. That's just my style because it's a mini. It's a quick game. You have to be able to think on your feet and go to people because you have a split second to make a decision. And so that's why I don't think I deserve to win because I could have intimidated people or I could have made people feel a certain way about themselves. It's nothing personal for me in this game. I just am that type of player where if I'm not gung ho, that's not Lauren. Okay. That's the way I Thank play. You. Thank you. Um, Caro, I also wanted to say that when I, I, thought at least I had a window of opportunity to try and form an alliance with you and Caitlin. I really wanted to, but at the time, um, Kyle would not leave the effing room we were in and it was actually really frustrating. So you kind of ruined that for me, Kyle, but would you have been open to an alliance? Um, and this would have been like at eight, um, possibly nine. Um, so just yes or no about that. And then the second question I have is the same. Why don't you deserve to win? This. Okay, so I'll start off by just saying yes, I did want the alliance pre-merge. I knew me, Caitlin, and Lauren had this like trio of a final three, and then sub with with that me and Lauren final two. And I was like, uh, we need to bring in a woman at this point. The only woman's Anna. Like, let's bring her in at the merge if she's there. And I, you know, in that conversation. I was trying to feel you out and be like, okay, I mentioned like I'm all down for the women's vibes. I genuinely did want to bring you in and I understand, you know, it's hard. Like you're not trying to turn away from like your initial core tribe. And I obviously wasn't expecting you to throw out that name, but you also just weren't talking like general game with me, like beyond this boat, right? Like if I wasn't your target, but you were targeting someone from my side and we expressed we were open, um, I didn't hear anything from you to make me feel like you were actually open to establishing that. I wanted that, you know, I wanted the corny all women together thing. Um, okay. So yes. And the other question was, why shouldn't I win this game? Um, why? <laughs> Um, I would say because honestly, my biggest fear was, you know, I'm social. I'm telling everyone final two, final three, final four, final whatever. And, uh, you know, I'll, most of the time that was a lie um <laughs> literally the only final truth was me and lauren um and so i think if people like spoke and i knew that if people were speaking on the back and they found that out like they'd be like oh she's shady like she doesn't deserve to win so um there was potential chaos with that sort of style but it was also my way to just secure myself socially so okay yeah uh at that like i it's hard for me to remember but eight or nine somewhere around there i wanted to get with the girls i wanted kyle and andrew to get out of there but obviously that's not how the cards fell um and yeah in the last minute kyle can you also answer why don't you deserve to win this game yeah um sorry you only i think there. i'm super excited to talk about why i suck um <laughs> i think that the way that i played left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths I think that um, because I played such an inherently dishonest game, uh, that comes with like tough jury management. And I could understand and it would be very valid if people are upset with me for how I handled their vote outs and that maybe I wasn't more open about like the fact that we weren't gonna work together. And I think that could absolutely burn me because I was so focused on playing strategically and, and making sure that all my lies in the game added up that when people leave the game and they start to find out that you know it not it wasn't all true 
uh, people could be upset with me. And so I think that the way I the way that I play this game is is a little reckless. And I think that, that uh, sometimes that can come to bite me with uh, okay. when it comes to the final. Thank you. And um, sorry, I didn't say Mara was going to say your name. <laughs> that should have been on me, <laughs> but. Okay. Um, well, congratulations to you three. Um, I am proud of each of you for your own reasons, but especially Caro and Lauren. Um, Caro, some of the things you have said during this final treble um, have raised a couple of red flags for me. Um, one of them relating to Joe's question, you know, I know you were forced and put on the spot to say something negative about someone. Um, it's not quite adding up to me why me turning on Lauren um, when we had a deal was a problem for you when you just stated that you had several deals. Um, and then I also want to say that I actually, you know, I, I, I did plan on having loyalty to both of you for as long as possible. Um, Lauren, you're an amazing player. Uh, and that is the only reason I made that last minute move. Um, I wanted to be able to say that I made a move and you were the biggest threat. Um, you were the person that I didn't think I stood a chance next to in the end. Um, and here you are. So this will be, uh, fun. I want to know because it is apparent to me what Lauren has done in this game. I want to know from uh, Caro and Kyle, what makes your game a winning game? Um, you two have survived, you have outlasted, um, which is great. Um, we can start with Caro. Sure, and I do want to start off um, just you know quickly addressing the whole like, putting you out because of the Lauren. It wasn't necessarily a protection of Lauren and oh my God, if anyone's going for Lauren, I have to gun for them. It was more of, we had a final three deal. I meant that and um, I was unsure um, why you were trying to go against that so soon. I understood that shit would go it's, down at the end. Final, is so, final six soon? Because- A I little bit for it, me. I saw it as the prime time for me to uh, do something to make my name stand out in the end. No, I get that, but I just, I thought it would come like within the next round or two, just so we would, you know, further secure ourselves together in the game. Um, but that was your play. And, you know, I commend you for wanting to do that. Um, and why I should, what the question was, what makes me a, what makes my game a winning game? Uh -huh. um, so I would say what makes my game a winning game is that, um, I played sort of like the middle, honestly, without, you know, ever being directly targeted. And um, I don't think people pegged all the relationships I had um, going on and the communications. And I think that's super beneficial because come going to the temple, I need to make sure that I'm running up the votes for what I want done. And if, you know, a lot of these votes are, you know, people that I'm not aligned with. So I think what makes my winning game is just having that information and the people to pull in with their own agendas as well. But I also have my agenda and my relationships that I'm using um, to pull in, to pull that move on someone and, you know, work with them in the future. Okay, Kyle. I think I honestly have the social, strategic and physical acumen, and that's what makes a good survivor player. And I've, I've talked a lot about my strategic, so I, I'll skip over it for now just because I feel like I've, I've given a very good idea of my strategic. Socially, I, dude, I got up at like 5 a.m. my time, and I was up until midnight and then got up again at 5 a.m. And I, like the only reason I went to bed so late was because I was messaging people, getting to know them, because I didn't get a chance to while we were playing the game. And I like, by the way, did you get my messages? I'm curious. <laughs> I, I messaged not. you. I did not that get That sucks. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, <That's> I'll, okay. <laughs> Lauren that's and I both have to show someone a screenshot after this. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, I appreciate that yeah. you reached out. Of 
of course, yeah. I'm sorry you didn't get that. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I, I wanted to get to know everybody. And, and so I, I spent the night, even though I was dead fucking tired, I stayed up to get to know people and ask them questions about their lives. And so that helped me play the social game. And the physical game, I honestly was, I was kind of crushing it in the pre-merge. Like I ran, I ran a train on a slide puzzle in the pre-merge and, and we got to the, <laughs> we got to the, the merge and man, I forget the challenge, but I won the first immunity at the merge. Um, and so I, then I realized like, I'm kind of like, I'm going to become a challenge that I'm not perceived that way yet, but I got to start throwing some stuff. And so I threw everything until the end when I needed to win my way into the end and I got first place. So I was a good challenge performer. And the only reason that I didn't really start winning stuff in the middle was because I was doing it deliberately as a strategic and social move. So I had all three aspects of a survivor winner. I made moves when I needed to, like the Joe blind side. And I had options as well. If I decided not to go through with the Joe blind side, I could have worked with Joe the next round to flip on the primordials. I that had final moves. Question. That answers my question. Thank you. Cool. Um, Thank you. Lauren, uh, my final question is for you. You have talked about your perception on the game or um, others' perceptions on the game. Um, I want you to rate everyone in the jury um, and your other two um, opposers sitting next to you on a winning game from worst to best. Okay, so worst to best. Um, all right, so based on what I know, I would say worst David because I don't think he made any type of relationship with anyone. He's clearly not here, so he doesn't give a shit, so I don't give a shit about him at the moment. But nine, I would say, um, I, I'm really gonna have to go, I, I'm sorry, Anna, I think you're a nice person, but we just didn't connect, we didn't click or get on the same page, and it's not anything against you, but I think with it being your first time, you were witty and smart, we just didn't connect as each other. Okay. In the game. Um, Joe, I'm gonna have to go with eight. And then after that, honestly, I'm gonna have to put Kyle at seven, Colin, six, Andrew, five, Caitlin, four, and Caro, three. And then who, did I miss somebody? I don't think so. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's how, I, that's, how I, that's how I'm ranking everyone. I didn't get to explain it, but that's the way it goes. It's jury section, so take it as you want, you guys. Thank you, guys. Good luck. Awesome, thank you. Uh, congratulations, guys. Um, mine's gonna be I, hopefully shorter, um, but real quick, before I get to what I wanna do, um, I wanna kind of back up so, uh, something Caitlin uh, talked about, which was getting Lauren out at uh, the sixth uh, round or, or when there was six of us. Um, first and foremost, I love big, flashy, aggressive, angry players. That's how I play. Um, so that's, I'm just putting that out there. However, and this is not, I'm not warranting responses, but I do want to say to Kyle and Caro, I think you had this strategic insight to realize six was the last time you could get Lauren out. After that, she was solidified and you probably would not be sitting next to her where in my opinion, you're going to lose to her. That's just what I'm going to say right now. Doesn't warrant a response. However, I want each of you, and I'll give you an order to out loud name which jury members you think are going to vote for you probably already know my opinion, but that's just me. So we'll start with Kyle. Which jury members are going to vote for me? Um, I think most of you could, but I think the only one I have locked for sure is David, because he and I made a connection at the very beginning. He couldn't figure out breakout rooms and I hung behind and helped him figure it out. And because of that, we made a final two right from the jump and I think he's gonna be loyal to that. Um, everyone else, I think you could vote for me, but I think I have to earn it. I earned it with David too, but like earned it tonight. <laughs> okay, we'll go to Caro. Okay, um, I was actually gonna say the same thing. Uh, I think um, my probability is higher with David based on that initial tribe relationship that we had. Um, I'm not gonna say it's 100% with anyone else on the jury. There are some people I feel like it is um, higher with, um, potentially Andrew, um, potentially um, Anna. Okay, and we'll go to Lauren. 
Uh, for me, I'm going to say I think I have everyone's vote except David because I think I played a winning game and I'm confident in the game I played and I think I've been able to address my thoughts and feelings throughout this entire tribal council and you guys have been able to see what I've done throughout the, its entirety. And that's just not being, that's not me being cocky. That's just me saying I earned it, damn it, and I deserve to win the game. Awesome. Thank you. Um, I'm not going to take up any more time. That's all I got to say. But again, congrats to you three. You did much better than me. So uh, just got to say that. So congrats and best of luck. All right. Last time I'm going to be preachy for this season. So applause. Uh, I'm a very staunch uh, advocate of the social game. And I've said this to a lot of people here, whenever we were at like about six or seven, whatever it was, where it felt like they just took the 14 best social players and put them in a mini and see who played the best social game. Um, I have said repeatedly that I think the people that play overly strategic without caring about the social game are like closet sociopaths. Uh, and I try to stick to that, um, even though it's very tongue in cheek. I don't think any of you guys are sociopaths. Um, so I just want to thank all of you, the three on the fi uh, the three finalists, and then everyone else, you know, for playing top notch, good to great social games from first boot uh, at the merge to you know who I have left. Anna, you know, I can't see you on my screen, but like the fact that you came in uh, never playing a game before and being sussed out as a social threat very early is, you know, it sucks, but it's also. Uh, proof that you could do very well in these games moving forward but we have our three and um like i told some of you as much many of you know i ask the same question every time i play these orcs they always end up on the jury um so i have two questions for each of you uh the first question is quickly the three of you just name something that you know about me besides what I do for work and where I'm from or where I live currently. You had a radio show and you would uh, try and piss off the like conservative Christians in your town. And when they called in, you would try and get them to yell at you. And I think that's fucking awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, this, remind, this is from an early conversation I would are at your friend's house for the weekend for their birthday in Pittsburgh. Okay. Oh, Andrew. Uh, so I know you've been going on your amazing tour for your 30th birthday. You and I um, have connected on so many different levels. And I just think, I don't think it's fair for me to, because of that personal connection to answer that question. In, fairness to these two so I'm going to not answer that because I think in fairness because we do have a friendship and I care about you a lot okay thank you all three uh so David uh same question oh not David David's not here god <laughs> Kyle tell me <laughs> god Kyle tell me something answer the same question about Caitlin. About Caitlin. Um, yes. Well, it's not for Caitlin because she didn't get my messages, but I do know that she started playing Orgs last year in August, um, and she's been playing primarily on Facebook, and that um, she's looking into starting hosting. So that we only were able to talk a little bit in breakout rooms personally, so I was terrified you were going to ask me about Caitlin because for everyone else I had something, <laughs> but uh, that's my best thing for Caitlin, and I know it's not super like deep and personal, but just because... The Facebook didn't let us talk, but that's all. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, and then uh, Lauren, tell me a bit about Joe. Oh, Joe. Joe and I briefly spoke to each other. I know that he's in the UK. I really, we messaged as a little bit, and I'm going to be completely honest, I didn't get to know Joe as much. And that's the thing about a mini. You got to take advantage of the time that you have. And I didn't get to know him, but I'm sure he's a great guy. And I look forward to getting to know you in the future. But then again, you have to look at every single facet. And the fact that I didn't get to know Joe, if that makes me lose his vote, if he was potentially voting for me, I'm sorry. But there's different aspects you have to look at in a game. 
And uh, Carolina, a little bit about Anna. Yes. Um, so Anna, what I know about you is um, in that conversation where you talked about um, what you do for a living, but also what you do outside of that. You have your little Twitch game and we were bonding about you were telling me about how Twitch works and how you stream and do all these things with your friends. Um, so I know that's something you enjoy and do in your spare time a lot with your friends. And um, yeah, I think that was like the only sort of non-game personal relationship that we were able to have in our short time together. Well, thank you all again. Uh, thank you production. Thank you for the jury. It's been great. Uh, I've loved it and I've loved watching all three of you guys play. It's been it's been great, as I've said, so bye. I'm probably not gonna take the full five minutes, but I do wanna say thank you for your questions. I tried to be as honest as I possibly could about my game style, what I did throughout its entirety. And I just wanna leave you with a couple things. I just want it to be known that I was very heavily targeted more than the two people sitting next to me and i found a way to make myself stay in this game and get it to the top three whether that was creating relationships with various different people i never stuck to complete tribal lines i reached out to other people from the other tribe interacted with them when i needed to and then also in turn made sure when potential allies were flipping on me that i went to my other allies and said hey please don't turn on me and that goes to the social bond and connection that i made because they could have flipped on me and went a different direction with the other ally that was in the alliance and that just is a testament to my game style and making sure i had them under me in my wing keeping me safe instead of flipping on me what i also am going to say is that there's so many different things that happen over the course of this game. You have to look at challenges, you have to look at strategy, you have to look at the social aspect. But when it comes to challenges, all these challenges are crapshoot challenges where any single person can win it. But at the same time, there are people that are good at different things. But what you have to also consider with that is, I yes, I won one. So that's another thing to look at too, because I'm not hiding behind an immunity win to keep myself safe. My name's out there as much as possible. And I don't really like to talk about pre-merge as much, but we had to go to more tribal councils than the other tribe that was opposing against us. So in fact, I had to keep myself safe there as well and create those bonds and take to me the people that I knew were gonna have my back going into the merge to help me get to the place that I am currently sitting now. I do also think that strategy wise, I was just, you know, popping into different rooms. And sometimes what I would do is I wouldn't necessarily say a name first, but then if someone said someone else's name I and they were in my alliance, I would go and message them and say, this person just dropped your name. We got to go for this person now to make them know that, yes, I do have their back, that they are safe with me because names get dropped left and right in this game. So you have to have the confidence enough to know if someone says someone else's name, that that ally that you're going to go say, say it to is not going to then flip the script on you because the game can get flipped on you in so many different facets. If you're not careful and maneuvering your relationships with people, they can then just say, you know what, let's just get out Lauren because she's too much of a scrambling person. She's all over the place. You have to be calm in certain instances. Yes, I was a vocal player. I did that in challenges. That's my personality. But at the same time, that's something that I think people might have perceived as maybe I should go sit with her because she is that vocal. But I also think being vocal is a good thing in a mini because if you're too quiet, you get lost in the shuffle and therefore can get left behind and be an easy target to get voted out of this game. So you have to pick and choose your moments on when to make your moves. And I think I did that flawlessly in the game. And I really hope that you guys decide to vote for me because I think I truly played the best game here and I want to see what happens. Great game from everyone. That's all from me. And I appreciate this experience because this has been my favorite game that I have played. And I am officially retired after this one. So. Hey. Um, all right. Thanks, all of you, for um, your questions. I think you all know my gameplay is probably um, most aligned to being social. Um, I created the relationships I needed to at the beginning. Um, I had Lauren at 
loyalty to Lauren in the beginning um, as well, didn't win a single challenge, um, but also never managed to be a direct target. I think that's what makes my social game strong because I kept people close to me, not only because I do have a loyalty to them, but there was also like a strategic reason to that. Like straight up from our OG tribe, people were targeting Lauren as a leader. And to me, that's someone that um, I want to keep around because, you know, you're good strategically, but you know, you're also a shield for me. Um, and aside from having established that you want to take me to the end with you. So um, it wasn't just like blindly, you know, having um, loyalty to a fault. There was some, you know, strategy um, there with that for me. Um, and so I think overall, my social strategy is just getting people to feel comfortable talking to me, work with me. And at some point, all of you on the jury expressed wanting to work with me, maybe not long term, but at least short term for a vote. And I do feel like, um, you know, you probably did trust me um, at least temporarily. Um, and I think that speaks into, you know, how I was able to socially maneuver through, you know, all of the different dynamics that we all have going on and and relationships um so i do hope that okay my you recognize my name my game wasn't flashy you know there wasn't like you know any major moves right i could have taken out lauren but i'm loyal to her but she's also my shield but um you know, I didn't make any direct flashy moves, but I was definitely behind the scenes, like strategically thinking how socially can I survive and, you know, get people to trust me, give me information so then I can, you know, readjust, give out information to others if needed. Um, and uh, yeah, that's in summary sort of how I played this game chaotically, mentally in here. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, this is a, like an insanely good cast in a game with like no advantages or anything. And that's like normally how I play is like by increasing paranoia about idols and advantages and capitalizing on pluralities. And uh, I had to change my game up this time. And I'm really proud of the way that I did, um, especially with such a high caliber cast. The fact that I was able to make it to the end with and, and have made moves along the way, not just been like brought to the end. Like I got here. I, I fucking. I, I got myself here. And so I am very proud of that. Very grateful for that. Um, and I hope that you are as well. Um, as far as like this, uh, I had at the final four, I had two final twos. And numerically, if, if both of them are loyal to me, that should be good. And even like, cause I was expecting, you know, regular survivor, I was expecting a vote at final four. And I think we were all expecting it to be a final two because of how the numbers were. So I was playing survivor expecting a final two. So I was playing my game that way so at final four i had two final two so even if one of them turned on me the worst thing that could happen to me is fire and i felt comfortable in my challenge abilities because i had been downplaying them the entire merge and i believe that even though people had loyalty to lauren specifically because i like i sense that some people want to vote for lauren and i'm going to try and take those votes right now uh I, I since some people specifically like are saying that like lauren was this big front runner i don't think andrew and caro are are dumb i think they would have realized that and even though they have a friendship and an alliance with lauren at the end of survivor all bets are off and i think that i positioned myself to be behind lauren like a shield and caro even said that lauren was a shield meaning that lauren was expendable to caro so i i put myself in a position where i wasn't going to be expendable even at the end game and doing so kind of makes people think, well, he's not playing a very good game because if you're playing a good game and people see it towards the end, they're going to take you out and you don't get to the end. So I was playing my game that way deliberately, kind of like downplaying my strengths so that I could get here. And when a challenge came out, I said, cool, well, I get to get here in an even easier and less stressful fashion and I'll just run another train on another slide puzzle. I felt like from the beginning, I, I was shown right away with nobody telling me that my name was going to be written down, that I couldn't trust anybody. And so I never did. I told people that I trusted them and I never meant it. And I had, I feel like I made pivotal moves in this merge, specifically the Joe vote, because if I had decided not to go with Joe, and I know we've like discussed and gone back and forth about the final eight vote, but if I decide to vote Lauren there, that's four votes on Lauren. And if I dig my heels in, Andrew now has to decide whether to go to rocks or whether to flip and vote Lauren. And I, I mean, maybe Andrew would have gone to rocks, but it's, it's a lot easier of a task to tell someone or to get someone not to go to rocks than it is to get them to go to rocks. So I believe that even at the final eight, I was in the position to 
make make the decision there, whether it was Lauren or whether it was Joe. And ultimately I decided it was Joe, but if I had decided that it was Lauren, then I have multiple people wanting to flip with me because Andrew wanted to flip and Joe wanted to flip. And, and I was building relationships with Caro and Lauren at that point. So I was in the position at eight. And if I decided not to make the move at eight, I could have made it at seven. And if I decided not to at seven, I probably could have at six, but I would have made it at seven. Cause like, you can't wait too long. Um, so I really, I feel like I, represent this season. I feel like this season happened the way it did because I was here. And I feel that my contribution to the season is significant enough and good enough and strategic and social and physical enough that I, I feel like I deserve the win. And I understand if you disagree, but I think you're wrong. So I am very grateful that I got to play with all of you. This has seriously been the freaking hardest game I've played in my life, which is insane because all the other ones I've done have lasted over a month. And I'm like, man, this has been just a freaking ride. And I've learned so much about playing Survivor. And if I ever fucking, because I keep applying for the show and one day they're gonna fucking trick me. And I, I will take lessons from this game onto that show because this has been a fucking learning experience and a roller coaster and a ride. And I'm very grateful that all of you were part of it. This is also the first, first game I played since I started playing Orgs where I didn't know anyone coming in. And that was a super cool experience because I got to meet a whole bunch of new people. And I'm really proud of the game that I played. Thank you very much, all of you, for being part of it. I hope that you are as grateful that I was a part of your journey as I am that you were mine. Thank you very much. Good luck to the other two finalists. Honestly, no matter what happens, it's a good season. So that was a really good ascension. I, I, I'm torn. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm currently of two minds. I don't know whether to go for Lauren or Kyle. I feel like Kyle has played a more under the radar game, but I do still think he had control, which is what I believe the perception was that did not exist surrounding him. But now, hearing what he said, and there was no pushback from anyone, except for that one time at Lauren, which, from Lauren, which I disagreed with, Kyle did seem to kind of control this game. But at the same time, so did Lauren and Kara. I need to take a breath. I need to think. I'm torn, still, after that. I get what Lauren is saying, that she played a really good game and her alliances and everything else, but at the same time, and, and that she survived. Every time her name came up, she survived. But at the same time, we, that's why we wanted you out. I'm surprised Kyle and Kiro, it's like, you guys fumbled, like Lauren shouldn't be here. But since I believe that Lauren shouldn't be here, I don't want to give her my vote. Um, and Kiro has not phone, earned my vote either. Even though I'm a little bit bitter, congratulations to the final three. It was a really tough game, and this decision was really, really tough. And so just pat yourselves on the back. Uh, it was a winning game. It was a flawless game. You are genuinely one of the best players I've ever seen. If your allies were smart, they would have taken you out a long time ago because I believe that they will lose to you. I thought for sure I knew how I was voting for when I went in there. Um, and coming out of it, um, I've actually had to put thought into it, uh, which is good. It, it's, it's a, it's proof that this season was probably the best overall game that I've ever played it in as far as cast and just the respect everyone had for each other as far as gameplay and everything was concerned. Um, having said that, um, my vote is for all right guys and the votes are in so if the rest of the jury could please come on camera All right, you have all played a wonderful game and I just want to thank you all for being a part of the first season of Prometheus. We will see you in a couple months at the live reunion where we will tell you the winner and give out the cash prize. On that note, we are finished. 
Thank you all so much, guys. Oh, that's fucked up, dude. <laughs> you didn't know that was coming? No. Oh, oh I was prepared for that. Oh, know. really? We oh do my the same gosh. thing in my game. We don't really I've vote. never had a game. They always yeah. do right away. Yeah. I played 12 games. This is the first time they actually did that. Because oh, this is going to be a show. Yeah, but <laughs> still. Have the other ones been a show before? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah.